Today, we're gonna look in my studio, behind the scenes, at how I create a new poster just in time for turkey season. So one thing I've tried to do as a wildlife artist is make my work accessible to pretty much anybody, whether that is a poster, a paper print, a canvas print, or even up to an original piece of fine art. And one thing that we've done that's been really popular is a line of smaller posters on poster paper for people that celebrates Labrador retrievers, white-tailed deer, and the flyways of North America for waterfowl. What I wanna to do today is ahead of turkey season, I've got an idea in my head for a wild turkey piece that celebrates all the aspects of the wild turkey and the things that we know and love about them. So today we're gonna to walk through how we're gonna do that in my studio. With this one, I'm gonna do um, a main gobbling turkey in the center. I've got an idea of doing a profile of a long beard and a hen and even a pole in the bottom. And then in the middle section, I think what I wanna do is sort of a timeline for breeding season, how that looks for a wild turkey, what their life looks like, how that affects gobbling. And then at the bottom, I wanna do a sounds of spring where we have some of the most popular calls that you're gonna hear wild turkeys make, the sounds that they make, and then have some art accompanying them. So after three or four revisions and just a lot of notes and research and writing and stuff, I've, I've pretty well settled on my layout here. Um, this is gonna be a central turkey here. I'll have a profile of a gobbler and a hen with their tracks, their dimensions, kind of a physical appearance. Um, I think I wanna do some pult work and then this will be a timeline on breeding and sounds. So the next step is to select the art that we've got. I'll go through some of my old work and select poses and art that I think supports the concept here, and then we'll go to layout, and if I need to sketch anything custom for this one, I will. So once we get the first print out, we'll go through and look at some of the fine, finer details. We'll start really proofreading the copy and look for spelling errors, anything like that. You know, one of the things that I see on this piece, I want to extend this range map, this wild turkey range map, and I want to even go down potentially into a uh, lower part of Mexico and maybe show the oscillated range, but I want to have a range map in here. Um, I see a couple places where I've just had placeholders, uh, like this gobbler here. I want this to be a hen yelping. So now that I know I have a hole here, I'll go to my sketchbook and I'll sketch a hen yelping specifically for the position of this, this here. Uh, I also need, I see I need a couple feeding hens. I'll probably put one of those down here and replace this turkey. One thing I wanna do though, is I wanna pull some detail into this middle section of her head. So I'll go back in and sketch that into here and then put that in there. Um, for the gobbler, for him, you can see what I did is changed his waddles, uh, the crown right here, and then lowered his snood. So he looks more like a gobbler. Also the track, you know, one thing that, that we know about turkeys is that the long beards have a larger middle toe. So that's something, that's an important difference that we need to show on this poster to kind of profile that. But you can see here the way that this works is I sketch on uh, in my sketchbook and then we scan this in digitally and then we place that right in the print. So that's how it goes from an idea in my head to pencil to paper. So from here, the process is pretty simple. We will send this, the digital files to our, our printer in Richmond, Virginia and they will send us a proof back. And we'll look over the proof, refine anything we need to, and then once we sign off on it, they will print the final file uh, and deliver them to us, usually within a week. And at that point, we'll have them for sale at ryankirby.com. So thanks for watching. That's a little bit of our process here and how we go from a concept in my head and some sketches on paper to a piece that hunters can hang in their home office or hunt camp. Uh, it's, a, it's a rewarding process for me as an artist, and I hope you find it helpful seeing the back end of how it actually happens. So have a great turkey season, and remember you can get these at ryankirby.com.